Welcome to The Dish. As always, I'm Jalen Russell, joined again by Jalen Gray, giving you the latest on the NBA. Now, the season just started. Yes, first week did. started on Tuesday. And when you come out for the first games, obviously you're trying to make a statement. You want to tell the league what you guys are going to be like for the entire year, trying to like score as many points as you can. Obviously, but you're embarrass also some still teams. figuring things out. Yeah, like you could see guys like the yeah. Thunder and the Spurs were experimenting a little bit. But who made the best statement? Who was like really just put the league on notice? Okay, to me, it was definitely Kawhi Leonard against the Thunder. Uh, I think that was Wednesday night. Um, he had 32 points and eight rebounds. He did a uh, great job on KD. He did. He, he shut him down. I mean, I think KD was, yeah, six of 19 that night, and he struggled, yeah, those first that's, three quarters. That's all true, but you, it's obviously Steph. Steph's the obvious answer here. That 24-point <sighs> okay. first quarter, like, they're, the target is so uh -huh. large on their backs, and he just came out and said, I don't care. I'm putting up okay, all these points. Okay, let's Ended see up with 40. who's guarding him. We have Ish Smith, who I, I, I had forgotten was in the league, <laughs> and we also have Nate Robinson, who got dropped the next day. So. <laughs> You're right. But he also, like, he did everything, though. He had two steals, seven assists, six rebounds, only two turnovers. I mean, like, just looking at his game as a whole, he just showed that he's not slowing down at all. Like, he's coming back for that MVP. Yeah. They're defending and their title. And it was title. a great statement, but I think we've seen this from Steph before. I mean, Kawhi Leonard, he was defensive player of the year last year. True. And, like, we usually see the Spurs, you know, passing it around. They're obviously trying to, uh, like, work their offense through Kawhi Leonard and LaMarcus Aldridge. And Kawhi Leonard showed us a lot of his offensive game last year. That's last, true. I've, I've never seen him put points up like that before. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he was posting guys up in Roberson and KD. He was also coming off screens and hitting jump shots. Like, he looked very polished offensively. He did. It was really impressive. So all that said, though, obviously with the good, there's also the bad. That's a bold statement. But <laughs> uh, with the good, there's always the bad. So there's some guys that tried to make a big statement and just got shut down, and it wasn't good. Who do you think just was so disappointing on their first couple games? I was really disappointed by Anthony Davis on opening night. I mean, he was the polar opposite pretty much of what Steph was. I mean, Steph was a ball of fire coming out and scoring 24. But Anthony Davis, I mean, through the first three quarters, he was 1 of 15. I yeah. mean, he didn't really seem like he was that aggressive. He had he had a bad game, I'll give you that. But also, when Tyreek Evans is out, rebounds. when Tyreek Evans is out, when Drew Holiday is out, it's easy for them to just throw the whole defense at him. They pack the lane. It's hard for him to score. I, I have a team that just really disappointed me, though. The Milwaukee Bucks got uh -huh. smashed by the New York Knicks. It was the most embarrassing game I think I've seen them play yet. These guys were supposed to be top half of the Eastern Conference, and Melo only scored 11 points, and you lost 122 to but 97. They have Porzingis had 16 <laughs> points and 9 of 12 from the foul line. How do you keep fouling this guy? He's not big. He doesn't even play down low. I don't understand it. Milwaukee looked absolutely terrible. Shot 35% from the field. 18 turnovers, 17 assists as a team. That is horrific. Yeah. Anthony, like, it's, it's one thing for Anthony Davis to have a bad game by himself, but Milwaukee as a team is supposed to be better yeah, than Yeah, I'm this. just saying, I mean, ESPN and Bleacher Report have him listed as the second best player in the NBA oh, after he is. LeBron James, and I don't think you can come out in your first game and just he, he rebounded the next us. night though he had 25 and 10 the next night i think milwaukee needs to show me something or i'm jumping ship quickly <laughs> that's all we have for you guys this week though thanks for watching have a good week